Hi, Good Homes magazine. So I'm here to talk about how I've kept inspired throughout the lockdown here in India. I've been traveling India for around three months now, and the whole journey has kind of come to an abrupt end um, here in Goa. I can't actually get home to Britain, so whilst I've been here, I've tried to keep myself and my creative juices flowing. One way I've done that is that at a small homestay that I'm staying at, um, the landlady kindly gave me one of her white walls. Um, she's gave me carte blanche with what I wanted to do with it, and so I decided I wanted to do a type of wall mural design. I've never done that before, um, I'm no professional at it, normally uh, fabrics and cushions are my game, um, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Whilst I've been travelling around India, one particular style really stood out to me, and that was the Pachwai, I believe you were saying, Pachwai, um, art, um, which is quite notable in Rajasthan. I love the graphic uh, kind of clean lines to it, um, which I've used in the sun and the clouds. Um, I like how it's quite clear um, and very, very defined. Um, and so when I saw that at a Good Earth store in Jodhpur, um, I decided that was going to kind of be the starting point for my design. Um, here in India, cows are so holy and so it only felt right to include that into the, the mural. I started off actually with a peacock, which um, for those of you that know my work, my favourite colours are those deep teals, blues um, and greens. Um, but with the colour palette that I have, bear in mind that all the paints that have been used are just from neighbours here. Um, people, I was just like, have you got any paint at all? Um, and people uh, said, yeah, I've got a bit of this left over and a bit of this left over. Good job that Goa has so many colourful houses, eh? Um, so I've cobbled together all these paints and that really has just been the palette I can work from. They're quite primary based colours um, and quite deep um, and saturated. And so the colours that I've used, for example, in the leaves and the details in the cow, they're maybe not realistic colours, but it's just keeping that palette throughout the whole work. Um, I'm going to show you some points um, of the piece that I kind of like the most um, and just really my, my thoughts of how I've put it all together. So the whole of the mural started off with this kind of mandala print here um, and I used anything circular that I could find and um, the main large red piece um, which is at the kind of the core of the mandala was using a laundry bin lid um, and then I've used other circular objects such as paint pot lids to give these round circles around the edge. Um, this was the starting point um, and then as the whole thing has grown with the cow um, he's kind of coming out of this jungle. <laughs> um, I've used things like the um, cheese plant leaf here and just other palms. I prefer the more finished look so this was very feathered on the edges and then I've neatened it up because I think it looks stronger. Um, and I like how some of the leaves are kind of overlapping the mandala and some are hid behind. Um, I think that kind of just brings it more to life really. Um, the cow has then got all his regalia on, so he's got like a um, kind of a sheet on the back um, with the polka dots which I love. He's going to have polka dots over the scarf on his, above his nose. Um, and then we've got the sun which is probably my favourite piece really. The sun and the cloud I think they look really really strong. Um, they're not completely finished yet um, but I was inspired by uh, the Good Earth store in Jodhpur which uses um, artisans um, that paint the ceilings and the walls into like a pitchwai style. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, and these have got their kind of the trademark flicks which look really really strong um, and are quite graphic so that's why I carried on with the, the cow having his horns quite graphic too and um, I think it works well. So he's peering out at this jungle and then the plan the plan is, is that there's going to be a little kind of domed silhouette town that he's looking out to. Um, I'm going to do these in different colours, going to keep the purple to a minimum and then different shades of turquoise, um, all with the archways in the strong orange colour, which will basically look like a silhouette um, of the sky behind. really how I've been staying indoors and staying inspired. Um, I hope that you do too. It doesn't take much. Look what you've got around you. See what you can find in your home. 
um, you know, shop your home. If you've got leftover paint, if you've got accessories, try and rearrange them. Um, start off with a vignette, a corner of the room, and group it together. Maybe move a piece of furniture, paint a block of paint behind. And um, so it's an instant fix, if you like. Because after all, at this time, homes are our most important places to be.